Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will be making soy vo or sticky rice coated in mung beans. This is a very special dish that we prepare for occasions such as offerings or New Year or year-end gatherings. And it's very easy to make, so let's begin. Helen's recipes. To make soy vo, you're gonna need one cup of uh, sticky rice or sweet rice and half a cup of split peeled mung beans. Uh, you wash them in cold water a few times until the water runs clear and then soak in cold water for at least four hours. About a quarter cup of thinly sliced shallots. And you also need some sugar, salt and vegetable oil. Firstly, cook the soaked mung beans with half a cup of water in a rice cooker until soft. Heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil in a pan and then add in the thinly sliced shallots and fry until golden brown. When some of the slices turn golden brown, it's time to turn off the heat and the remaining heat from the oil will continue to cook the rest of the slices. After the mung bean is well cooked in the rice cooker, now we're going to transfer it to a food processor and process finely. After soaking the rice for 4 hours, drain them completely and now we're going to add half of the processed mung bean to the uh, glutinous rice. Add half a teaspoon of salt. Give it a good mix. Line your steaming basket with some banana leaves or a piece of parchment paper and then pour the rice into it. Spread it evenly and make some holes so the steam can come up. After steaming for about 10 minutes, we're going to add about a tablespoon of sugar and if you would like, you can also add about 2-3 to three tablespoons of coconut milk or coconut powder. Don't add too much coconut milk because it could make the rice kind of wet. Then fluff the rice really well with chopstick and steam for another 5 minutes. So in total, you're going to steam the sticky rice for 20 minutes. So the sticky rice is well cooked, you know, we're going to transfer it to a large mixing bowl and then we're going to mix it with the fried shallots to make the glutinous rice more shiny we're going to add about a tablespoon or two of um, vegetable oil you can use the oil that we fry the shallots so it's more fragrant okay fluff the sticky rice really well so all the rice grains are really separated it's very very crucial for this dish that you have all the rice grains separated. Now we're gonna add the rest of the mung bean powder into the rice and mix well so um, the mung bean powder will coat it outside of each rice grain. That's it, we are done. Now you can transfer it to a plate to serve. You can serve this with Vietnamese ham chả lụa or some caramelized pork belly. I also have a video on how to make uh, thịt kho, so you can click here if you want to know the recipe. Now I'm gonna give it a try. Ta-da! Mm. The richness of the mung beans really combined together with the protein which is the thick core over here, it's just really, really great. So you totally should give this recipe a try and let me know how it turns out. If you give it a try, don't forget to send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag Helen Recipes and I would be really glad to share your photo in my future videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.